Hello everyone, welcome back to our interventional radiology series. Today we reviewed the internal iliac artery anatomy, specifically the classic anatomy in a male pelvic patient. This type of anatomy you'll find that is very helpful for medical students, residents, and fellows alike because it is commonly tested and also encountered in real life. The classic branching pattern is seen in about 60 to 80% of the male patients. It is really defined by an anterior division and a posterior division. And as you'll see, the anterior division is part of a common trunk and the posterior division is formed by the superior gluteal artery. So let's get started with orientation. The orientation here is a lateral projection of a CT angiogram, and you have the main internal iliac artery right here, and you'll see it has two main branches. The posterior branch, which is the superior gluteal artery, shown here by the big red arrow, and we also have the anterior branch, which is the common trunk that you see here, and later bifurcates in a, into an anterior branch, which is the internal pudendal artery, and the posterior branch will be the inferior gluteal artery. We also have here a small branch called the obturator artery, and that's actually part of the posterior division, and it arises from the superior gluteal artery. So this is the classic male pelvic anatomy, and remember, this arterial anatomy is seen in about 60 to 80% of the patients. Hemoglobin A1c is probably our most important blood test in a patient with diabetes or a pre-diabetic patient. It's done every three months because of the cycle or the life cycle of the red blood cell and it actually reflects how well you